Hey everybody, welcome back to Graphic Design. This week in our class, we're going to learn how to use Canva to make a Mother's Day card. That's right, Mother's Day is coming up very soon. It is Sunday, May 10th. And so uh, I thought it would be a really great idea to use our class time to make something special for our, our mom, okay? Uh, now, moms come in many shapes, right? I mean, um, uh, my mom is no longer with me, but um, so I but I could easily give a, a card like this to someone else who's just made a really big impact in my life. Maybe maybe a friend. Uh, for you, maybe it's a grandma. Maybe uh, it's your mom. Maybe it's a, a friend, a friend of the family. Maybe it's your aunt. Um, so, anyways, think about who that person is to you, who's been like a mom or who is your mom, and make a card for them. Okay. And um, so let's go ahead and do that. I've, I'm showing you my finished product here. And um, let's talk a bit about it. In this particular lesson, what I'm going to focus on doing is showing you how to use what's called a frame to put the picture inside a frame. So this is kind of a cool looking design. It looks like uh, a paintbrush uh, outline, right? With the kind of raggedy edges along here. And that's a frame. And then I put a picture, happens to be the picture of these uh, daisies that I painted inside that frame. And that's what gives it this really cool look. Okay. And then there's some text and all that. So that's the main focus here is I'm going to show you how to do that particular effect. All right, here we go. All right. I'm back on the homepage of canva.com. Again, if you don't have your canva.com account for our class, you have to go to our Moodle and click on the pro appropriate link and, and be added to our class and all that. I'm not going to go through that again. I've done that in previous lessons, but let's get right down to the designing for this particular assignment. You're making a card. Okay. So you're going to be on the homepage or once you're logged into Canva and you're going to click on create a design and you're going to find in the list of templates that you can use there is a card template okay so i'm going to go ahead if you don't see it in the list right here you may have to search through the list until you find card when you get that uh open it'll look like this and again like always there's going to be a list of different templates that you can use um you could type in specifically mother's start typing in mother's day and you're going to see here under suggested suggested mother's day card designs great they're already way ahead of you, right? They've created a whole bunch of designs. Look at them all that you could use for a mother's day, grandmother's day, whatever card. Okay. And so when I was looking in here, I saw this one down here that I liked. Okay. So I went ahead and clicked on it and this is what the template looks like straight from Canva. I liked it a lot. Okay. And again, we've got a picture inside a frame. So I'm going to show you how that's made. Okay. Um, to, to show you, I'm going to delete what's there. So I've got, uh, this selected, I'm going to hit delete. It deleted the picture inside it first. And now this is what the frame looks like. I'm going to hit delete again on my keyboard and now it's gone. Okay. So we're going to make that part of it from scratch. I'll fix the words in a few minutes. All right. So how do I make that frame? It's found under elements. So I'm going to go over to the left hand toolbar here and click on elements. And maybe you've looked through this section already, maybe you haven't, but you can see there's kind of like clip art and shapes and stickers and all kinds of things in here. So uh, you can certainly look through that and see if there's something you want to use. But specifically what I'm going to use here to do this is the fr frame. Okay, under the frame section makes sense. I see a few, some basic shapes, but if I click um, on this uh, little arrow here, I can scroll to the right or I can actually click on see all and it'll show me all the frames that are possible and I knew this frame had to be in here somewhere the one I wanted to use there it is and I'm just going to click on it and as soon as I click on it it gets added over here into my design and that's pretty nice I can arrange it and put it where I want now now that I have it I want to put a picture inside of it just like a frame on your wall you <laughs> that holds a picture this is like a frame uh, in your card and you put a picture inside of it. So I'm going to go to my uploads section on the left, um, because I want to use one of my own unique pictures as opposed to one of theirs. Okay. That's going to personalize this design. My mom would just love that. So I'm going to come over here and there here again, there's this picture I took. I'm going to click on that click and drag actually, and put it inside. So inside the frame and then let go. Okay. So I didn't just click on it. I 
because I think if I do that, if I just click on it, it's just going to add it as a new element, see, in front of the frame. And I don't want that because it's still a rectangular shape, okay? All right, I'm really liking this. I think it looks good. Uh, one thing I could do, I could rotate it slightly, and this is the rotate key. So when you have something like this frame selected, you can just um, find the rotate button here, and you can kind of give it a little bit of a rotate. Sometimes that's nice. Again, I can take it, kind of move it around where I want it. Now I'm ready to edit the text. Okay. So I'm going to click on this top text here. I like that Happy Mother's Day. I think I'm going to leave that the way it is. However, I want to change its color. So uh, with it selected here, I can look up at the top and here's all the properties for my text and I want to change the color. Click here. Now this is something I thought was really cool. One thing Canva does is if you put a picture on your design like I've done here, it, go ahead, it, it uh, looks at the picture for you and finds the dominant colors in that design. It will take a look at it and see, and I like this dark green right here, so I'm gonna click on that. And see now my text matches my design, which is really a, really a great way to, um, to kind of create a unifying theme to a design uh, as a graphic designer is to kind of use, use the similar colors throughout, okay? So back up here, I think I'm gonna just get rid of these words at the top. I don't really want that there. I'm gonna hit select them and hit the delete button on my keyboard. Uh, now I do want something down here at the bottom. I think I'm gonna say something like, you know, thank you for all you have done for me and my name is not Adeline okay so I'm gonna get rid of that part I'm just gonna put I love you there you go okay and again the text here is in a pink color I don't really like that so with that with that area selected I'm gonna come up and choose the color go back to that dark green that I chose and it looks really good okay so just like that I've created a card in Canva that I've personalized, I've used my own artwork, and I'm ready to turn it in. So here's how we do that. As before, first of all, you need to save it properly. We can see up here the name of this card right now is the text that I currently uh, typed in that box, and I don't want it to be called that. So please, according to the instructions on our Moodle, please change this. It should be the assignment number, in this case three, your name, last then first, then the class period you're in, it'll either be blue one or blue two. Okay, so please name your files that way. Then uh, we're ready to turn it in. So there's two ways you must turn it in. Okay, first of all, you share it. So with the design selected, I click share. And please choose Chris De Bruin's team, not my individual account here, but just the team name. To the right of it, you see the eyeball, click on it, choose can view. And now I and everyone else in our class can now view it. And that's the way that you share it. That's first step to turning it in. Okay, second step to turning it in is to download it and then upload it to Moodle. So here's the download button. Click on that. Do not make it into a PDF, please. Click here, choose JPEG small file size. Make the size as small as they will let you make it by clicking and dragging the size uh, bar to the left. It's still plenty big to turn in, but this will just save a little bit of, of file size. Then always leave quality at 80%, then click the download button. It will prepare your design and download it. Once it's finished downloading that file, then you need to go back to the Moodle. You need to log in there and you need to find the assignment called uh, week three Mother's Day card and upload your JPEG to that assignment. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Hope this was a fun assignment for you this week. I think it's a great assignment for Great, a great person in your life who's done a lot to support you and help you. So let's try to make their day brighter by making them a card. Have a great week.